In this video, we're going to explore how to check if an array includes a value in JavaScript. And this is a very important item because with this you can quickly check if a certain value is displaying yes or no in your array and that can be functional depending on your situation. So before I even start with it, let me explain something else or let me tell you something else. If you want to learn about Chart.js, check out my Chart.js course on Udemy. You can find the link in the description box. All right, let's start and explore here. So basically we have here our HTML file and we have here the, the template. However, we'll be only using the uh, developer tab or the console log. So no need for anything special. So we have here an array. So let's create an array here or a constant. And our constant will be, uh, let's say pizza. And then in our pizza, we will have specific items. We need the dough. We'll be needing a tomato sauce. We need the salami. Bell peppers. And finally cheese. Or grated cheese. Doesn't matter. All right. So we have our array here. So if I put in here console.log, you can quickly find the value of this. If we put in pizza, let's save this, refresh here, and open up the developer tab. And you can see here we have five items. If I refresh again, then Google Chrome is working properly and shows me all the arrays that I have. Exactly what I want. What I want to do now is I want, for example, I want to know if certain item is in here. So luckily, there is a special function for that, or special method already built in for the arrays that's quite new. So let's explore how to do that. So what we do in, what we can do is the following. We put in the array name, so we just pizza in our case, dot includes. And once you do that, you can put in here the specific value. Remember this. In JavaScript, the includes method will only search for an exact match. This will mean that if you have a capitalized letter D here, for example, though, it will not search for it. So let's start and explore that. So if I put in your console.log, save this, refresh, you can see now our result is false. And the reason why it's false is simply this. It is not, it's an exact match, and you can see, so basically it's a search strict. It's not exactly the same. So if you make in the small letter D, refresh, there you are, it shows true. However, this is important to remember, this option here, or this method, the includes method, doesn't support every browser yet, or, or probably it's starting to support most of it, but if you need to have it uh, with old browser compatibility, if that's an issue for you, or that's important for you, there's another way to do it as well. So let's try another option here. So this is new method. Let's try a other option, other option for older browsers, all right? So what we can do is the following, you put in your console log, all right? What we will do is the following. We're going to play with some other tricks. We're going to basically build a if statement in a searching. And if you see a value and it finds the value, it will say yes. And if it doesn't show, it will say false or true and false. So first of all, we're going to use the, uh, we first have the array, which is pizza, and then dot. And what we have in here is the next one will be index of. And if we look at index of, and then if we search here, we have to search again on this exact match, which is dough in this case. Let's save this, and what happened now, if we, if we refresh here, you can see we see zero. What does this zero really mean? Well, let me explain. Index will not say true or false because if you would say zero, you say this is false. If there's no value, well, that's incorrect because there is a value. So this shows you the index positioning of the item. So if I put in salami, you will see as well this will be number two. Refresh here, you see number two. So why is this zero? Well, this is index number zero because how's an array? How does an array count? Well, if you have dough here, this is number zero or zero. This is one two, three, and four, all right? So you can see this is the reason why it shows zero. So what happened if I put in here just uh, pizzas with S, 
If you refresh here, you can see now we get the value of minus one, meaning there is none in our array, no position in here. So minus one is that the case. So what we can do with this knowledge, knowing that if this doesn't show in here, it is minus one, and if it does, it can be zero up to whatever, or up to the amount of values that are in here. So it's always, everything is zero or higher. So that would mean enough. So then we can say here, this, and then what we put in here is a build if statement. If this or bigger than zero, we'll show this. If we say this, then this will be a true. So basically we build a, a true statement here. If whatever we get here, this value is larger or equal to zero, it will show true. So if we refresh here, you can see now, because we have here minus one, it becomes false. So if I put in here salami, it should now show true. And this is the way how you can do it in the older browsers or if your concern is backward compatibility. So if you like these kind of videos, subscribe to my channel. And if you have any questions regarding to this or maybe a suggestion video, put them in the comment section below and I'll make sure I'll get back to you.